We're just gonna let it play. Alright? Just let it play. Sorry for the audio adjusting. I gotta make sure it's not too loud. Dangan Rumpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood ghost boy here. Today we're playing Dangan Rumpa. I that's obvious, I guess. <laughs> I've always wanted to play this game, so yeah. Let's start. Someone help me. Oh boy. I already don't know how to word the controls. Great. We're doing great today. Excuse me. Oh, I see. Okay, so back. No. Okay. I see how it is now. So we're gonna do it in English because I don't understand Japanese. There's a difficulty. I see. We're going with kind. Okay, we're kind. Are you ready for Dong and Rumpa? Well, this is pleasant. Oh boy. Such nice music. Last Dead. Man got the flesh and bones taken off him. Look at that guy. Laughing at death. Imagine. Are y'all ready? Hold on. Oh god. Okay, let's start this greeting. The massive high school. I'm already messing up, I'm sorry. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. I can't. Oh my god, I forgot to, hold on. If you heard that, that was the sound of me connecting my mouse. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Oh, here we go. Hope's Peak Academy. Mm. It brings in the top, I'm messing up already. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. They say that you, they say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life with hundreds of, dear God, with hundreds of years of tradition. It sends the cream of, my Lord, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in, in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak Academy a pretty fitting name. 
There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The, way, the only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students, oh god, I'm scared, was me. <laughs> Before we go any farther, oh. I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. I forgot there was voice acting. Oh my lord. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Yeah, you are. <laughs> average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going on for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a sidekick or a mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my te my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't say I'm... So I can't... So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyways, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if you have any kind of strong points, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am standing in front of any... Oh my god. Here I am standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I'd, I would feel that way. What you, ha what you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for, my, for today. Dear Lord, I can't read. Oh. Host Peak Academy 15. And Anonymous. Keep it coming. Come on, keep it coming. And Anonymous. Apparently, my friend kind of knows them. I guess everything. Their state of the art. This year's Ultimate Pop Sensation is going to be there. I'm not going to read all that. Host Peak Academy only invites those students who are the, who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at reading sometimes. All the time, to be honest. And all I saw was the talk about the ultimate, the talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high school. For example, one of the incoming students is the ultimate pop sensation. I said that. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's, there's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Oh god. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Oh my good lord. She looks like a doll. She, I'm a bit scared, to be honest. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Really? Okay. Sure. What is that? No, 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 no. We got. Look at his hair. It's corn. It's corn on the cob. That's his hair. Oh, and then the. And they mentioned the ultimate biker gang later, too. Is that legal? Okay. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. Really? Wow. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. 
reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who had wandered into a, price, into, a, into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find of any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anymore? Could they just be average students like me without any talent at all? Or anything? That's what I meant. Th that thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much of it. I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come out to this ultimate high school? Good question, buddy. I wish I had the answer for you. <clears throat> I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just, you just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to, s to see why. Okay, I'm gonna read it. Mr. Makoto Nayagi, we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our high school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Included uh, is an orientation guide for Hope's Peak Academy. I just read that. Yeah, they spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Damn. Honestly, I probably would probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a great guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. Fair enough. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself lo losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a while, but a little while. I should, I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my confidence, of the, God, all my determination, and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. I took my first step toward the main hall. Okay, cool. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm one of the first ones here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says 8... No, no it says it's 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. Yeah, I do that. I have plenty of time before the meeting, just standing around and waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around... I should take a look around the school, maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into the Hope's, into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards studying a new life at a school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Oh god. Okay, here we go. What the? But the instant. Oh my. I'm sorry, I bumped the mic. But the instant I took that step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And then. The, and then. The, oh my god. And then the next. And the next moment, everything went black. And that was how it was all, that, whoa, that was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It's because you have ultimate bad luck? <laughs> Got him. 
It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Oh, here we go. Welcome to despair. Oh, are you ready? You ready, chat? Let's do this. Yes, let's save. Yes, we must save there. I don't know what that other one is. It might be my friend's save slot. Hmm? Oh my god, are you good, my dude? Oh my god. <laughs> you good? What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of, the, of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Oh, this game is so cool. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim at any object, interact with you can interact with if you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use WASD buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button. NAND? NAND? Is that... Is that a typo? <laughs> Hold on, we'll ignore that for now. And move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Let's see. There you go. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where the window should be. But it looks like there's some kind of metal plate that has some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it, whoa. Yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Okay, let's see. There's a TV. This school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Oh dear god, my mouse went insane for a second. Sorry about that. No, stop. I'm yelling at my mouse. Like that. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Damn! You good? I'll have to clean that up later. No, clean it up now! Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. Pamphlet. And there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is someone's is this someone I someone's idea of a joke? So, not what I wanted to do. Okay, I think we got everything right. Because we already got that. I better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. But, did I, did I not get everything? Because I got that. Oh, there we go. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. So, what might have happened? So, okay, let's see. So, what might have happened to you? H here it is. Damn. I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? That's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, th that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows. It's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There, sh there might be other students there now. <clears throat> you can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. Like the actual R? Oh. Okay then. I see. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. 
I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Mm, okay. Can I shift? I can shift from console. Oh. The spare hotel. The spare hotel? I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Oh, sorry. I guess you're right. Is the way to main hall? I wonder where the, the, this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Okay. So this isn't the way to the main hall. Um, this way! I don't know what that is. Actually, where is this other thing? The AV room, it's locked. Of course it's locked. Keep out? Is this the entrance? The school store, I guess it's not open. Okay. Music's nice. What is this? Okay, I guess we're going in. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh my Whoa, hey. god. Another new kid? Hi, it's me. <laughs> Hi. Huh? Then you guys are all Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Of course it is. So, counting him, that makes 15. 15? Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Aura, aura, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <clears throat> um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. N yeah, buddy. Glad you know that. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to Makoto, me. your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. <laughs> Damn, okay. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your 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 due punishment. Sorry. What? What's your problem? It's not like you wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? The, now there's no freaking time for introductions. I said that wrong, but I don't care. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problem here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's introduce our... Let's, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to somewhere else. On to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's the best. I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance. This is as good as a chance I'm, as I'm gonna get. I already, I already looked up. I already looked everyone up but on the hopes that hopes Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they are actually. They actually are. Time to find out. I start by talking to those five over there. I aim at the student and press the left mouse button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Okay, that was fun. Look around, look around, look around. First, let's look at this though. That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? Right? Sorry. There's a TV. The school is fun. Okay, we already Okay. I guess we just have to. You. 
I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay. Sure, buddy. Let's go. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with communities, public morale committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate co moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. <laughs> okay. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Okay. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. I, th I like him. He's okay. He's okay. Um, we'll do this for later. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm T -T Toko. Toko Fukawa. I'm scared of you. Writing prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her in liter li literary. That word, career. There we go. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest man, hottest men. Damn. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and got, and all her books got an instant bestseller. I know, I read that wrong, which is why she co she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I, but I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type with, the ma with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What's your problem? What? It's not polite to stare, you know? Stop staring at me like... Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you never seen such an ugly woman. You thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true, otherwise you... I, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Damn. Well, wow, talk about an inferi inferiority. Inf that word complex. There we go. I was way off about what a successful op op what, what a successful author would be like. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. I recognize that voice from somewhere. Ultimate pop sensation. That's right, that's the girl we saw earlier in the pictures. The way she moves is positively memorizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Mazono. Mazon when I saw her name in the thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. If she's in a... She's in a... Oh my god. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's uh, in high demand to appear on TV and, ma and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd been she'd be going to this high school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful, almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm, I'm psychic. Are you? Huh? <laughs> Kidding, I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey. Whoa. Huh, hey, by any chance, now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be, I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on! Jeez, you guys, how long did you, do you plan on to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Sorry, you just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of 
idle chit chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll ever, we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Damn, that's rude. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? I'm intimidated. I, I want to pick a fight <laughs> with this guy. Ultimate baseball star. This song just had a shaved head. I recognize that name. See, there he is. He looks better with the shaved head, to be honest. And that superb athletic specimen is. You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star. Give me a break. What were you expecting? Some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting a lot more. A lot of, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball players types. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's just how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? That is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head it Shaving your head like this, that is a part of national championship regulations. Dude, seriously? Dude, chill. Chill out. It's okay. But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Just grow it out. You have lovely, very long hair. I want, I want you to turn into Rapunzel. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know... I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he was still his team's star player. He's some kind. It's like he's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. For good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. You're gonna be a singer, okay? So all I need is a songwriter and some. One, and someone on guitar and we're set. How cool is that? This is this is new. This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like s super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all star. You're safe. Hey, let's go. Hey, buddy. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. That's a long nickname. I'm never gonna call you that. Oh, you're the kid. Right, I remember mm -hmm. that. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in the, well, in that world, I'm well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. One, I once sold. 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into a legend. Into a legend. Um, I don't know what that said. Some of them didn't get it, of course. I saying I'd be, I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but s selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basis urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Yeah, neither do I, buddy. Okay, now let's talk to those five people over there. We're talking to this guy! <laughs> Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Hey! Don't swear at me! I like your eyes! Ah, uh, right, we said he's the mic. Not bike? Mike? Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mondo Awada. Oh, sorry. Mondo Uwada, huh? Which means... 
He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect even awe, even awe from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd better be careful around him. One, one wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I like you. You look cool. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. I love you. I love you with everything in my being. You just mentioned I love you. Ultimate programmer. Yeah, you are a programmer. Not gonna lie. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope you can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have you met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. good point. Sorry. You, you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going on. Going. Which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. really sorry. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> huh? Why are you what are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. <laughs> Do you like her, Nayaki? Is that what you're saying? Okay, we got the standards. Let's do her. Hi! I'm Junko Emishima. Charmed, I'm sure. I'm scared of your smile. It's too big. I don't... I'm scared. Ultimate fashionista. <sighs> I'm scared of you. Anybody, anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back? With, like, computers and junk? Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh, that's why you look like a doll. I see now. So m many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> yes, they are. Hey, up! I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Hi, Hina. Ultimate swimming pro, huh? Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every school competition since. She's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as the upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her personality, appearance, and um, proportions. Proportions? Nayagi! Eyes! Eyes! Eyes on eyes! <laughs> Has been widely discussed online. Mm. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll ham it, hammer it into my head, into my brain right now. Yeah! Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm when she was writing on something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell spell it. Whoa, 
You spell it, it exactly like it sounds. Um, well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned she is she totally, she's totally easy go going and bursting with energy. And you, purple. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigue. Um, she's beautiful. Ultimate question mark. Okay, sure. Ultimate question mark. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the hope that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see if there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here it means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what's... So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Okay. Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Those four, those four over there are the only ones left. Hi. Hello. I am Sakura Okami. <laughs> oh my god. The ultimate martial artist. Oh. Jeez, I almost asked her if I was. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist, she's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a, a bit more about her. Someone call, some call her Obi. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates the famed missing link. Any incoming Hope's Peak Academy student who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value life, avoid her at all costs. She doesn't seem mean. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. I think she's hey. okay. Hey, you. Huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what do you I see? Muscular quali quality and quantity is right around around that of an extreme order in your high school student. Hmm. Hmm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for you. Damn, why did you call me weak? I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Hagakure. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Good. You don't look like you belong in high school. Ultimate player of one. I don't know what that word means. Yashu, Yash, Yasuhiro Hagakure, known as the known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trending setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, uh, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? Serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in his mouth. What? What are you talking about? And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemoria and its civilization. So, Lemoria and its civil civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Damn. Very cool. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. I love your hair. Ultimate gambler, huh? Yeah, you'll like 
Celestial Rudin, huh? <laughs> Rudenberg, it is my life it is my name, but you don't but if you don't mind, I would prefer if you call me Celeste. Um you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, could me could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Lindenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the, I guess the rumors in that thread are right about her. Self-styled Celestia Lindenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love for gothic Lolita clothes, Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They, sh they say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally, she totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Damn, I look forward to getting to know you better. I'm scared. That smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around it. Uh-huh. I'm scared. I've heard. Name like Biakuya Togami. Hi. Ultimate affluent prodigy. So you're smart? How smart are you? Hi, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed info. Whoa. I said that without without thinking. I'm sorry. That's the most half thing introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Yakuya Togami, he's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial Kong I yeah. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of the ultimate of the progeny is completely accurate. He is the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Pokey Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. Okay. And with that, all the introductions are done. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. There's no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, well, you in. see, uh, um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we, lo we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that everyone, that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Dear God! Uh, sir? Stop. I need you to calm down. Exactly, that's why we're all freaking out. Fre freaking out. Freaking out. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows and the classroom and the hallways were, right? Well, instead of normal glass windows, it was just a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um, yeah, you're right. I haven't even, I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's What's it doing there? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Is it? What? Like... What? Like, kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come, come on, on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. I'm, so I'm just, I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted us to do something to they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last time, so I could use a little shut eye. I can feel everyone's tension tension evaporating. 
But then it began. Oh. Oh no. Are y'all ready for this? Man, my throat is so dry from talking. Hi. How you doing? Ahem. Ahem. Testing. Testing. Mic check. One, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. I'm never going to try that voice ever in my life. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay. Well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone's laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Okay, damn! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Okay. What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey, what, you're just gonna take off like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us pumped for the interest entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. I'm pretty sure it is real, buddy. You know? Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. <sighs> uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me, I wanna go with you. <laughs> but that is that then, I will see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off to the gym, but I was frozen in where I stood. That un uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it all, uh, it all looked like I was the only one. Uh, um, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, maybe, maybe, but just saying, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys a, just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of no. I'm really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They all said go to the gym, right? Yes, let me... Yes, yes, over right. Oh shit, what's going on? Why are y'all here? Uh, a mailbox, there's nothing inside. Well, that was pointless. I already picked up those. Bad. Uh, holy cow. What's with the huge metal latch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? The store definitely wasn't here before then. Should I? I guess I should talk a little bit, huh? My voice hurts so much. So, I don't have to do it. I like it. Damn, chill out, stop swearing. What the hell kind of game are they playing? What the hell? Is this sign of some kind of a bad joke? Well. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? I'm glad you're concerned. Huh. True, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Can you understand that? Listen. I know how you feel, but... All we can do now is check it out, right? Uh, um. Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. It's not just you, bro. All right. This is bad. What was with the announcement? It was like totally creepy. Yeah, you were right. Yeah, Let's find the gymnasium. Not that way. Um. Is this the? What? Hello? I'd better make my way to the gym. I need to find out uh, what's going on. Okay. That's the gym. Cool. Alright, this way. <sighs> Interesting setup. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. <laughs> it really ain't that different. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um, 
And why is there anyone here walking through the halls? I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? Well, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Huh. Oh, buddy, I don't think they will. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, we're, where's whoever called us here? Mondo, no, no, Mondo, stop, no running. Well, I, sh I too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait, don't leave me here all alone. Okay, time for some tutorial action. You can press tab key to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Okay. Tab. Okay, let's see. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Okay. This is a school. This school has a lot of TVs. They couldn't all just be for that weird school broadcast, could they? Um, and, uh, another surveillance camera. I feel like we're being watched out every second. I don't like it. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Uh, I understand that. Um, Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? I just no. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining. Inside we go. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went into the gym. And I saw what and I saw what was waiting for us there. It's everyone. Oh, it really does look like an interest ceremony. Yo! See? Told you it's totally normal interest ceremony stuff. Hero was right, but in a way that was just infinite. And in, in emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello! Oh, Is no. everyone here? Good! There go. Then let's get things rolling! I can't. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Don't leave me. Leave me alone. I'll fight you. I'll, I'll do it. Hey, buddy. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Huh? A teddy bear? <laughs> I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! Hi, bud. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was, it was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd be carrying with me suddenly transformed into out outright fear. Say what? what? That teddy bear can talk? Hey, calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside. Hey! I Come told you already, now. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? It moved. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. <laughs> ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Well, bear that, really. You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving along, we really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down, quiet down. Okay, so, he has abandoned the gag. Good Everyone morning! Everyone stand at attention and bow, and good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? I don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us... 
commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entr entrance ceremony. First, uh, first, let's talk a bit about what your school life will here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And so, and to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules of, and regulations of the school. Huh? Ah, uh, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life. There isn't one. In the other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such such is school life you've been signed. What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not, we have quite an abundant budget, so we won't lack for all the common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second, that's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here with forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's I'm true. not screwing with you, I'm no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So, you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates are all over the school. They're there, they're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So, with all that in mind, feel free to live out your dreams, live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if this, if the school or whatever, whoever else is behind this. No, my God. I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is a really bad joke. Yeah, Damn cut it know. out. <laughs> yeah, cut it out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke, a bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna but I do? guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And then and when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most and having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come on now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided you decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you've already decided what you want you want to leave? Hey! Um Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way you can leave the school. Really? Actually. As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who'd like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As mentioned, I, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we can we rely on communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave this school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, and igniting. How, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. That, it's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I, I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... It's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure that there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? Blabbering? 
Oh, I'm blabbering, buddy. blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering. I'm scared of you. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let let us go. Let us go. You keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill me. And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, go on, kill, 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 killing spree. Uh. All right, come on. How long are you gonna keep this up? Mm -hmm. eh? You know. You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick. Now. Huh? Reveal the trick. I'm right. Yeah, because right? I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick. When you're all right. So we're like, dude, dude, shut up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma and his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up. This crap gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? You mean like your hair? You <laughs> son of a bitch. Hey, <laughs> go <laughs> Mondo roared, roared out and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked and launched himself into the air. He flew a monocoma fast and straight as a bullet. Straight, you say? With hair like that, there's no way he's straight. He'd lock on to his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! Oh my god! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell! Oh. That's aggressive. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Sir! Stop! Stop swearing! Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Is it? Shut the fuck up! Oh my god, Let me out of here, I swear to Chills. Christ! Dang, cool. Sorry, had to. Hey, damn it! What, no smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it. I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did it. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did... Damn! Uh, what the hell? What the? That sure... That sure as crap wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it was in real life, I'd never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma. <laughs> what? There's another one? Damn you! Son of a nugget! You seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course. Well, yes, I. I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rule won't be let off with just a little sweat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That, that's not even a punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official school, our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Ahem, <clears throat> yes, we're well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make, you sh always make sure you have the right one. <laughs> now, this is not your everyday notebook. It also it has so many more uses than that. What? Also, com it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to the and thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force up to ten tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure make sure you view it them make make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear 
We say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Sheen. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utterly chaos without laws. Yes, the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for our violations. Oh, violators. Okay, well that brings us to our interest camp. Well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye -bye. Please enjoy your abundantly de dreary high school life and see ya. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? That's crap. How? Why? I don't understand any of this. Hmm? We have to, <laughs> we have to live here forever? Or kill? What? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one, we each stay here living a communal life together until we, the day we die. And the other choice is, Indeed. if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into the place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? That is... This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie. That is what it is. All of the, these ridiculous things we've heard, it, this all has to be fake. <laughs> right now, it doesn't matter if it's real or not. Faith. What matters is, so in other words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. And I, I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true horror of horror hidden from the world and the thing had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of anyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? Oh boy. And that was how my new school life began. This school which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope, it's a school of despair. Prologue, welcome to despair. The end. Oh, good lord. Surviving students, 15? Oh, good. There's a kill counter. To be continued. Oh, of course. To be continued. Horrific. Got an item. You received the school crest present. I want to save. From zero to hero. Thank you. This is Hercules. kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter 1. To Survive. Daily Life. Yay! Daily Life! But as... But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it, it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her point, her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <coughs> right, she's right. Listen to Sometimes me. even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Pun punish me. Huh? Jesus. 
if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid! Idiot to look for a way out, duh. What the? And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, but... But before we do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Crap. <laughs> Alright. Fine, so then. then. Let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Oh, speaking of Academy Handbook, Makoto Naegi, after turning on my e handbook, handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up in front of the center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on the screen. It was school regulations. In other words, the school was the rules being imposed on all of us. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is unexpected an unexpectable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than your than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violation against the headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as in destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, dizziness I raised my face up to the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone else's faces. Stop fucking this around. Is bull crap. What kind of what the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not going to let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks through one of the rules. However, but if he got punished like what we saw before, don't you, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my old brother pounding this in my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if he kills me. And... So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, that's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here? <sighs> None of that made s much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um... Um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think that means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It says, if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Why, would we have, why do we have to do that? <laughs> I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full on stab. <sighs> well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. <sighs> True, we need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay, let's... Then let's all start looking around. Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone might... Someone might already have started thinking about murdering us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst to make it much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny there's a possibility. That's why you all seized up with the fear. 
when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold, hold on. Hold on, like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so in insign oh, so insignificant, they, could po they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking I'm dead. gonna kick your butt. Stop, we shouldn't what? fight. The hell you just say? You some kind of goody goody little dog. You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my freaking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch! Freak you! There we go. Wham! He punched me. I flew back in deep. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Damn! Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to s something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of... I just... But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade away. Again? Before it completely cut out... Oh my god! How strong is Mondo? And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... I'm in a room? Yeah. Huh? W where am I? As if... As if it had become a part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check the variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so that was Danganronpa Prologue. I hope that was good, entertaining. Um, yeah, love this game. My voice hurts because I had to talk so much. Uh, but I hope to be making more episodes very soon. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, that's all. Hope y'all have a good day. See you later.